squeeze. What do you do, guys? I am back with another reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to the most shocking facts about BTS. I am excited for this video. Um, you know, we, we just get to learn some, some facts that, you know, we might not have come across otherwise. So, I'm excited to see that. I like hearing about the members. So, you guys know the deal. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button and stick along. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you comment down below so I, I know who you guys are. We can interact. Um, it's going to be a great video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, you know, we have plenty of BTS reactions on the way. Double uploads today. And I'm thinking about doing a triple upload today. You know, I might just say, forget it. Let's just do triple upload. Um, we are going crazy. Let's let's get 20 likes on this video, guys. Let's get 20 likes on this video right here. But without further ado, let's hop straight into these facts. Let's get it and let's go. Keep up with the news. You've probably heard of the South Korean boy band BTS. RM, Suga, Jin, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook have taken the world by storm. The band has set numerous records in Korea and abroad, such as being the first Korean act to top the Billboard 200 chart and sell out arenas in the US and UK. Here's a look at 16 of the most interesting and shocking facts about BTS. Number 16. BTS reportedly brings in billions of dollars to the South Korean economy. According to a study by Hyundai Research Institute in 2018, BTS brings in about $3.6 billion to the South Korean economy. This is not only because their albums sell really well. That's actually crazy to think about, guys, because um, I, I, I never really thought about that. Uh, so basically, they, they are an asset to South Korea. So in South Korea, you know, they are some a force that brings in rev is bringing in revenue to the area. So that's actually something pretty cool to think about. And I remember hearing, I remember watching a video about whether or not um, the BTS members should be forced to serve in, you know, in the army, the Korean army, South Korean army. You know, because um, I think they have. There's a um, a law or regulation where, you know, they have to at some point in their life. So this is an interesting factor in, you know, to that situation. But without for let's 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 hop back in. Let's hop back in and see what they say. But also because many tourists travel to Korea to visit locations related to the group, such as restaurants the band members have eaten at or locations where they filmed their music videos. Some tourists even fly across the world to go to BTS's concerts. Crazy. Number 15. RM is a genius. With an IQ of 148, BTS's leader RM is not only highly creative, but is also a genius. He's proved his mental prowess on TV shows like Problematic Men and on BTS's own variety shows, such as Run BTS. His ability to speak English almost like a native speaker is a testament to his intelligence as well. That's so true. Like, his, his English is on point, guys. And he's, ba he's basically the translator for the group, so it's like, man, RM is just going crazy. He knows what he's doing. This guy... That's a lot of respect to learn a whole new language and, you know, speak it like that was your fir your first language. Like, it's so crazy. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of respect to RM for that. In fact, he impressively scored 850 points on his TOEIC test in middle school by self-studying English. Number 14. V hates, he hates spicy, spicy food. Ooh. Korean cuisine is known for being spicy especially for non-Koreans living in and Guys, We are hit with an ad, but we're going to hop right back into this video. Let's get it. Let's go. He is made for football. They gave us another ad, guys. Oh, my God. In visiting the country, 
Naturally, you'd assume all members of BTS would love spicy food, but one member doesn't, and that's V. He's most likely the pickiest eater in the band because he also dislikes coffee and a lot of vegetables like soybeans. Number 13. V is ambidextrous. Oh shoot. V has many talents. He can draw, take beautiful photos, and sing in a rich tone. <laughs> One talent you may not know about. I feel like V is more is one of the more the more um, hidden members. You know, like I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below what you guys think. But I feel like he's one of the members that I don't really hear much about. Is that he can use both hands equally well? Although he's naturally left-handed, you'll see him signing autographs and using chopsticks with both his left and right hand. What can't he do? Now for number 12. But first, make sure to subscribe before you leave and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest videos. Number 12. J-Hope is the only member of the band who doesn't have his ears pierced. Whenever BTS has a new comeback, the members get extravagant new hairstyles, stylish outfits, and dazzling accessories such as necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. So you'd think all of them would have their ears pierced. But that's not the case, as J-Hope's ears are very much unpierced. However, he has recently started to wear ear cuffs to experiment with his style without making any permanent changes to his body. Hmm, I wonder why he, ha he, he chose not to, uh, to pierce his ears. You know, I remember, uh, okay, so before I got my ears pierced, I was kind of scared. I didn't know if I wanted, really wanted to get my ears pierced. But then once I got them pierced, I was like, oh, yeah, this is this is this is good. this is the place to be. Um, So maybe he will pierce them eventually. But we'll see, guys, we will see. Number 11, Jin cried after BTS's first performance. BTS fought and practiced hard to get their first appearance on the Korean music show M Countdown. This happy moment was tarnished for the oldest member, Jin because his pants fell down while BTS performed We Are Bulletproof Part 2. He was so embarrassed that he cried backstage after the group's performance. Hopefully, this is now a distant memory in the... Guys, that is so crazy. Man, I would be embarrassed too because it's just like... Uh, it's just so messed up that you know, something like that would happen. This is like, ah, like, dang. Like, first, this is your first big performance and then something like that happens. But it's okay. You know, you get through things and, you know, it only makes you stronger. Just that is, I'm sure it's made Jin that much stronger. Number 10. RM is good at ice skating. BTS's leader is a great ice skater as he practiced the sport for four years. RM even called it his hidden talent. This is particularly surprising because he's known to be clumsy. You can find videos and GIFs online of him breaking sunglasses, floors, phone booths, and a lot of other things. But he's quite graceful on the ice rink. It's actually pretty cool. I've only been ice skating about... Yeah, I've only been ice skating like one time, and it was in elementary. But it is pretty hard. Even regular skating, you have to get, you know, you have to get in the rhythm of it. But ice skating, that's, that's pretty cool right there. That is pretty cool. Number nine. Jin has crooked fingers. BTS's performances and music videos never cease to impress. With all the amazing things going on, you probably don't have time to catch all the details of the members' appearance, such as the intricate patterns on their outfits, or even how their hands look. So you most likely never realized that Jin has crooked oh. fingers, probably due to hyperflexibility. This most likely explains why he can also effortlessly do the splits. Number 8. Jimin and Jungkook were meant to have stage names. Most of the BTS members have a stage name. RM's real name is Namjoon, Suga's is Yoongji, Jin's is Sukjin, J-Hope's is Hoseok, and V's is Taehyung. However, Jimin and Jungkook used their real names as their stage names. Nonetheless, they almost debuted with stage names like the other members did. Jungkook was almost called Seagull, the official bird of his hometown. Tattoo and Ian. 
and some names for Jimin were Baby J, Baby G, and Young Kid. Fortunately, all the members thought Jungkook's and Jimin's own names sounded better, so they used those instead. When you think about it, it's actually a lot of work to come up with like a stage name. Like first, you want something that you know、um, vibes with the group, and then something that is just you know it sticks out. But I feel like Jimin and Jungkook both.、Uh, Both have like distinguishing names, so it does fit best for their, their you know, their stage name as their stage name. Stage name. Number seven, none of the members are from Seoul.、Hmm. Seoul is the most densely populated city in South Korea, so it's no surprise that most K-pop bands have at least one member from the capital. However, not a single member、guys. of B. The Midi Pack. The Midi Pack. Unbelievable. For us with an ad. But none of, none of the members are from Seoul. Okay, that's that's pretty, that's different. Members are from cities in the Gyeonggi Province, close to Seoul, but the rest are from Busan, Daegu, and Gwangju, which are quite far from the capital city. They all must have different Korean accents. Number six, the band used to live in one room together. The BTS members currently live in a luxury apartment in an affluent area of Seoul, and have even bought their own properties to rent to others or to stay in when they need more privacy. Their lives may be comfortable now, but at the beginning of their career, all seven members had to share one room. This must—that's just a humble upbringing right there. They just—they basically be—they basically formed a family, you know, living in one room together. Like that's—that's that's so crazy. And then just look how far they've come. Now they have these luxurious apartments and、uh, you know, buildings. That's that's so cool. Must have been uncomfortable, but it sure helped them to forge a close relationship with each other. Number five, Jungkook is afraid of microwaves. Oh shoot! Jungkook is the most fearless and daring member of the group because he enjoys extreme activities like bungee jumping and climbing. He's also fiercely competitive. But he has his own fears, like everyone else does. While his bandmates V and Jin are afraid of ghosts, Jungkook fears something that many of us think is harmless: microwaves. When you put food in the microwave, you normally forget about it, or you think, "When will it be ready?" But the main thought that goes through Jungkook's mind is, "Will it explode?" Number four. That's crazy. That's crazy. A microwave. I wonder if something like happened. You know, like,、uh, like usually when you're younger, something happens with something, and you get traumatized. You're like, oh no, no. So maybe something happened with the microwave, which makes him, you know, scared of microwaves. Scared of microwaves.、Um, this next one says Jungkook's underwear. So let's. This one should be interesting. Suga once stole Jungkook's underwear. During an episode of BTS's reality show Rookie King, Suga confessed to stealing Jungkook's underwear to assert dominance over him. However, when Jungkook previously asked Suga if he had seen his black underwear, Suga lied and said he hadn't seen it, even though he was wearing it at the time. Jungkook certainly made sure to keep an eye on the rest of his underwear after this. <laughs> Number three, Jimin almost didn't make it into the band. Jimin is one of the most pop. Now that's su- that's very surprising because, like, I feel like he's the mo- one of the most outstanding members of BTS.、Uh, just his man, he's good at everything. So let's see. Popular members in BTS, but you'll be shocked to know that he almost didn't make it into the band. He was nearly kicked off the team a whopping eight times, and may have not made the final cut if his bandmate V hadn't expressed how he would love to have Jimin debut with him. Thank God, V had Jimin's back. Number two, J-Hope once left BTS. It's hard to imagine BTS without J-Hope, but that almost became reality right before the group debuted. In an episode of BTS's first documentary, Burn the Stage, the members reminisced about how J-Hope left the band because he thought things weren't going well. Thankfully. RM convinced J-Hope to return, and even explained to Big Hit Entertainment that BTS. Re- All right, guys, we have another ad here, but it's crazy to think like this. 
like even in any group, like a lot of things happen. So there might be a, a lot of like, you know, internal conflicts, just normal stuff that we don't really think about, but that would actually happen. Like it's, it's crazy. You know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of effort and, you know, it takes, it takes an army to, you know, to get things going right. And they made it, they made it guys. Who knows where BTS would have ended up without J-Hope? Number 1. BTS almost had a different name. Naming a band is an important process and can take quite a while. Before Big Hit Entertainment decided on the name BTS, short for Pangtan Boys or Beyond the Scene, the agency thought of naming the group Big Kids, Young Nation, and other names. We're glad they chose BTS instead because it sounds so much better. True. <laughs> it really Which does. Which of these BTS facts do you think is the most shocking and interesting? Tell us in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest videos. Alrighty, guys. That's it for this video. Um, man, the most shocking video, I mean, the most shocking fact for me was that Jimin was uh almost didn't make it into the into the group that's so crazy to me i feel like he adds like so much uniqueness and just flavor to the group i feel like he's just uh like a you know significant variable in the group um another one was that uh j-hope almost left the group that was crazy too that was crazy too to me um, what was the most shocking fact for you guys? Comment down below what you guys think. Um, and if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let's get 20 likes on this video. Smash that freaking like button, guys. Let's get it going. Let's get it crazy. Let's show, show them. Let's, let's, let's just, let's just see, you know, how much you guys enjoy these videos. Um, we have a lot more BTS reactions to go. Uh, a lot more to come. And we have that BTS album on the way, guys. On the way. On the 20th. November 20th. So, that's going to be great. Um, I am ready for that. Uh, double uploads every day, guys. Double uploads every day. Okay. Uh, I might do a triple upload today. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a triple upload. I think so. Unless I get tired. But, you guys know the deal. Thank you guys for watching. And without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. So let's get it. And let's go.